Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome back to Giga Texas on the 3rd of August, 2022. Another very busy day with a lot of interesting details in the video. First, I just wanna remind everybody of the annual shareholders meeting tomorrow. It'll be held in Giga Texas here behind me. And you can see some of the preparations going on right now around the site for that big event. It will be live streamed, so make sure you look at the Tesla Investor Relations page for more information. There's three main areas I wanna talk about today before we get into the video. The first is on the south end, the directional drilling and pipe pool. It seems like they've had some sort of a setback. Uh, on my previous video, I showed you in the north bank area, uh, sort of a cordoned off area with some dirt and it looked like maybe a pit of some sort. It looks like they may have had a tunnel collapse or a bore collapse and they've taken the pipe on the south end and pulled it completely out. So I show you all of that today. Uh, it looks like they're starting to re-drill that area again. So uh, it looks like a temporary setback, but hopefully we'll see that drilling operation and the pipe pull pretty soon. The second area I wanna talk about is the east parking lot, the southeast side. This is the area that's recently had a lot of trenches, electrical conduit, and now they're installing light pole bases. They've also repaved the area, and now they're marking it in what looks a lot like another uh, car carrier area where they'll park the cars, prepare them, the transports will arrive, and then pick up the vehicle. So it looks like possibly an expanded area, which is something we've actually been expecting to see as production begins to ramp. And the third area is again back at the battery cathode plant. A lot of progress continues. They're adding more roof and floor decking further to the north of the building. Now two thirds of the building has that installed. They're continuing with more of the utility trenching and installation on the west side, more perimeter grade beam form work and preparation for concrete. And uh, just some other work that's going on in that area is just really transforming pretty quickly. As you can see by the video here, it's a little bit windy. It's gonna get a lot more today, so I'm glad to get the video done now before uh, the gale force uh, shows up. But anyway, I wanna say thank you very much for watching my videos, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas. We start off on the south side of the river in the area where the pipe that you can see uh, underneath the drone here, the long pipe that has been pulled out of the bore that went under the Colorado River. And uh, thanks to Brad Sloan, another drone pilot who noticed this uh, yesterday, and uh, I thought I would come back and revisit it. You can see the color change of the pipe and also the length. Uh, where the color chain happens is where the end of the pipe was uh, before the uh, issue that came up that they called they needed to pull that pipe back so you can see just how much of that pipe was actually under the Colorado River and almost to Giga Texas and right about here is about where that uh, pipe uh, ended up in the bore and then now you can see how much has been pulled back the reason why is it looks like on the north end there was some sort of collapse of the bore and I'll show you that in uh, just a few seconds. But here you can see the crews uh, looking at the pipe, preparing it uh, for probably another pull at some point. And uh, here is the bore, and you can see the uh, uh, device attached to the end of the pipe that will be used to pull it across and underneath the Colorado River. I'm tracing the pathway that it would take, and uh, as we approach the north end, as I mentioned in the previous video, there's this cordoned area off with the uh, orange fencing. And you see uh, at the south end of that, there's a collapsed pit area. And it looks like this is where there was the problem and the pipe had extended almost to this point and then they had to pull it all the way back. You can see here that the uh, machinery is preparing uh, to drill again or is in the process of drilling right now again to hopefully repair that bore and then they can give it another 
attempt to pull that pipe back. I don't know how long the setback will be, but it'll probably delay them another uh, week or so while they get the bore corrected so they can pull that pipe. But anyway, I hope that you found this little bit of information and review interesting. So now as we head up to the north uh, along the stamping machine structure and to the body in white area, one of the things I want to point out to you is in this excavation area where we've been watching them uh, prepare for a new loading ramp, you can see five new cargo doors have been cut into the existing wall. So now there's a total of eight. And we had mentioned that this is what uh, I was expecting to see. And now they have gone ahead and done those uh, cuts into the wall. You can see more plumbing work is underway and there's some concrete being poured in those first three uh, cargo loading areas and they're preparing for the load levelers and we should see the same kind of thing uh, installed on the new cargo doors at some point in the future. You also see the gravel aggregate where they will eventually put uh, rebar and concrete for this particular area. So anyway, some more progress on these particular uh, cargo doors and loading area. Coming under the drone right now, you see that black trailer with the uh, stamping extra pieces, the uh, scrap. And again, they collect those and then they haul them over to the east a yard area where they're stored temporarily until they're moved for recycling. So now we're taking a look at the full south end. You can see the arrangement of all the Model Ys. You can see that south material storage area and that uh, triangular shaped cyber pond. Uh, one of the things that's uh, kind of noticeable is on this side of that ramp area, the parking area, many of the cars have now been moved over to transport or have already been picked up and moved off site. So uh, continues to have some progress going on and I'm not sure, but maybe this indicates some sort of change in production right now just because of the orientation. But here you can see the new supercharger stations, the 20 of them. The uh, ground area is being prepared for paving and uh, a little later this morning uh, they actually had the pavers out and they were paving over that uh, sort of that recessed area you can see. So I think commissioning these supercharger stations is going to happen uh, probably by the end of this week at the pace that they're going. So now I'm going to face a little bit more towards the south and I'll review, uh, give you a view of the Model Ys that are arranged here. All of the uh, more current ones uh, besides these, the black and blue ones, have been moved over for the transport or have been moved off site. Uh, again, I'm not sure what these particular on the parking side model wise are doing. They may be waiting for some parts. They, I don't know, it's pure speculation, but they might be 4680 versions waiting for additional um, developments, but uh, we shall see. But here is another car carrier picking up a Model Y and uh, just giving you a view of how that uh, process works. Um, later on in the day, I noticed there were about five or six more of these car carriers picking up vehicles. So the pace of transport continues across the site. So here's a view of the south uh, platform area with a little bit of a view inside and uh, just some of the activity that's going on. You can also see into the stamping extension just a little bit. Again, it's difficult to see in there, but uh, it looks like there's still more ground level work, maybe some slab work and uh, other uh, construction that's going on in this area, which is the last major area of the main building that's under initial construction. So now as you fly a little bit further to the east, I'll show you the uh, southeast corner of the stamping machine structure. And again, the, uh, the painting uh, has not uh, progressed any farther than what we see on the wall here. So again, they may be considering uh, how that looks before they continue to go for more of the walls. These Lone Star paving trucks eventually moved over to the supercharger station, and they're the ones that uh, were uh, providing the materials to pave that area. What you see in front of us is that area that was excavated out has been filled back up more aggregate and it's been turned into material storage area. You can also see that horizontal drilling area where the pipe pool uh, will commence. And here you also see more Model Ys again arranged on this side of the 
the area. I'm not sure why they segregate them over here, but, uh, but they have their own process, so it seems to work out pretty well. Um, I'm going to show you here a little bit of view of the south material storage area. Uh, you can see a lot of steel parts. There's a truck that just arrived bringing even more parts, and this area continues to see materials arrive. Some are modified or fabricated and then moved off to other areas around the site. Also looks like there's some sort of, uh, not really trenching, but more landscaping work being done around that uh, silt fence area around the pond. So I'm going to go ahead and fly the drone up to give you a view from the southwest corner of the main site of the main building and that south end. And then we're going to cross over the highway and take a look at some of the progress that's going on on that side of the highway as well. So now we're across the highway taking a look at that material storage area. We'll come back for some closer views there. But what I want to show you here is the continued work on the water management uh, sort of pond or uh, maybe a water detention area. Uh, this is all designed to help protect the roadway and construction that will happen to the north here from uh, possible flooding that may come up from the Colorado River, which is off to the left. But you can see a lot of the work continues here. Uh, from what I'm told, this is uh, continues to be a priority to try to get all of this work completed. And also you can see the uh, recent repaving and uh, reconfiguration of the river road area as well. Uh, you can see the remaining hills and ponds and uh, valleys from the uh, sand and gravel mine off here on the far southwest corner. And uh, we're going to go ahead and proceed back towards the material handling and storage area where some interesting activity is going on. And uh, quite a bit of crew are here busy with what looks like uh, some materials that are used for temporary platforms. And there's a lot of, uh, of these bars and uh, other materials that are used to make temporary platforms. My speculation is that this may be uh, some of the stuff that they're using to put in the temporary stairs um, over at the uh, uh, battery cathode plant. Uh, but it also looks like they're sort of reorganizing this particular area. So interesting, but a lot of activity here today. I'll show you some other materials here. You can see the old uh, bases for light poles that look like a cyber truck shaped. You can see uh, some other components that are probably going to go to the battery cathode plant, some to the the plastics manufacturing area and some of these trailers for other materials. So anyway, a lot of activity on the west side of the highway today and I thought you might find that uh, interesting. So we're going to pass across the highway again back over on the main site. So I'm going to show you the work that's being done on the main entrance area. Looks like some work on the glass panels but also you note that they have a platform for wheelchair access now at least on the north side. I'm not sure if this is for the shareholder meeting tomorrow or if this is the permanent or semi-permanent solution, but uh, at least we see some ramps being put in at the main entrance. So I'm going to fly along the west side heading to the north and I want to come up to the battery cell production area loading docks and just sort of give you a view inside what's going on here and also follow up on my previous video. On that video, I showed two crew with uh, hazmat uh, hoods and ventilators, and it looks like uh, they were handling a class three uh, material that requires that ventilator and the uh, mask. So anyway, it's uh, interesting to see the, some of the production uh, activities as well. Now that we're back onto the roof area, I'm gonna show you the expansion of the solar panel uh, area on the south side of the lower part of the uh, T of Tesla. You can see as it continues to grow, they're heading more towards the east to fill out this particular area. Today it looks like uh, the crews uh, just arrived in this particular image, but they're setting out the mounts and getting ready to put more solar panels on. I also want to show you some of the progress here in the HVAC ducting area. You can see a third from the right uh, enclosure is now nearly completed 
and it looks like uh, crews are um, doing some work on the sixth one. Uh, it's supposed to be high winds today, so maybe they are putting uh, materials to help protect that plastic. But anyway, more progress on this particular area uh, of the building. So I'm going to bring the drone down and show you the northwest corner area and then fly along the uh, landscaping area where a lot of grass has been installed, a lot of the irrigation. You can see crews here uh, preparing more landscaping and kind of that median area, but uh, continues to be a lot of work uh, preparing this area uh, for uh, both irrigation and uh, landscaping. All of the area that's under the drone here and along most of the berm that you see now has active irrigation system. And on the north side of the berm, you see these trenches on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. These are for lighting and more work has been done to uh, prepare all the conduit for the lighting and we may actually see lights uh, by the end of this week. As we continue towards the east, you can see more of that purple irrigation pipe that's being installed on this part of the berm and also more of the area that has the grass and uh, sod installed. Now that we're proceeding to the casting machine area, I'm going to show you these uh, very heavy uh, lift trailer trucks. Uh, these are for components that are brought in that are uh, of a certain weight that's beyond just what a normally semi can handle. And I'm not sure if these are the ones that brought all the green uh, parts here or if they brought something else. But uh, it's interesting to see those trucks. But all these green parts and the part that you see up on the platform appears to be uh, parts for more of the paint shop area, possibly the paint shop uh, new oven system uh, that we've been hearing about, or it may be just another line of the paint shop uh, modular structures that we've seen installed previously. But as I pull back to a little bit to the north, I want to show you the progress on this uh, conduit area that we discussed in length in my previous video. It looks to me like all of the conduit now has had the concrete poured um, and it's sealing it and now they're filling it back in with dirt, just leaving those uh, manhole uh, access vaults and uh, eventually those will be used to extend the conduit further to the north, most likely connecting the building to the Megapack and new uh, electrical power station that they are going to be building. Um, as we continue to fly over that particular area, the mega pack will be on the right-hand side of the screen, the new electrical substation on the larger area on the left-hand of the screen. And I've had a few uh, viewers, uh, one of them particularly William, who has done some research at the City of Austin site and has confirmed that uh, they are in fact still waiting for the permits to be finalized to be able to continue the construction in this particular area. So. Uh, uh, what I've been hearing on site and what some viewers have been seeing as well with the permit site uh, backs up that uh, we're just in a waiting pattern now until the permits are signed and then we can see this area completed. Now that we're at the east parking area, there's a lot of details that I would like to show you in this particular area. So uh, we'll start in the southeast corner where all of the work has been done to do the trenching electrical conduit and uh, uh, getting new paving in this particular area. You can see on the left of the screen, crews are installing uh, the form work for some of the concrete bases for the light poles. But most interestingly, Take a look at the painting marks that they're putting on here. It looks like this is another car carrier transport area, and it's in close proximity to where they have more superchargers and uh, charging stations. So as production ramps, they're going to have to have more space for all the vehicles. So this very well may be uh, the next phase in that evolution, which is great to see. The other thing I want to show you here is that road repair on the uh, the edge of the road, you can see them at the, the aggregate and the vehicles are working there. It looks like that uh, process to finish this area uh, and complete the repairs is now well underway. The tent that we just saw, I think, is for the shareholder meeting and that looks a lot like what we saw at the Cyber Rodeo as well. The east 
main entrance area now it looks like it's mostly complete and it looks like the doors may be installed as well it looks like you can see some of the handrails as well so concrete's poured there as well so uh, just in time for the shareholder meeting perhaps uh, well, i'll show you also the new parking lot on this uh, south side it looks like again more preparation to eventually get some paving work over there and then open that up and you can see another car carrier arriving in Giga Texas to pick up more model Ys. But here's a different view of that southeast corner, and you can just give you an idea of its size and location, and also how it may be the new transport location. As we fly over the yard area, again, all of these trailers are important indicators to the production ramp, and uh, the fact that there's a growing number of them indicates uh, good things for production ramp of the Model Ys and perhaps maybe some of the future products as well. But now I want to show you the battery cathode plant as we arrive. Uh, a lot of progress, uh, a lot of details to go over. You can see crews working on uh, some of the columns preparing for mounts for the walls. You can see the yellow formwork for the perimeter grade beam which will be the base of the wall if you will. Um, as we get in closer here you see crews are preparing uh, and installing some of that rebar mesh onto the floor so all of this area will soon be paved or be poured with concrete and we'll see the second and third floors here probably by the end of the week getting concrete which is another amazing sign you can also see temporary stairs have been installed more work on installing the floor and roof decking and extending it further to the north in this particular area as well. Also, crews continue to finish installing uh, some of the hardware for the steel structure. There's also some welding going on as well. And uh, more on the ground floor. Some of this area is for the uh, tool chests and uh, some of it is being prepared for future uh, installation of utilities. You can see the large crane is still on the ground waiting for future work, but we also see some another crane, the blue and the white one, that's being used to hoist uh, materials up to the uh, uh, second, third, and the roof area. Also on the north end here, you can see that excavated area which looks like uh, possibly a recessed cargo uh, door area, so we'll have to continue to monitor that and see if that does uh, in fact develop. And then as we move to the west side of the building, looking to the south, we see more of those crews on the man lifts uh, doing all the hardware, uh, making sure all that is completed. Also, a lot more of the floor and roof decking has been pre-positioned in this area, so again, we'll see more of that being installed soon, filling out the floors and the roof all the way to the north end. On this side of the building, we see on the uh, upper floors, crews putting in that uh, rebar mesh. On the lower floor, we see or the ground area we see excavating uh, going on for more of the conduit uh, that will be installed for electrical and also where all the plumbing area is. And as we continue farther to the south, we uh, see crews on the third floor preparing rebar mesh for concrete. And on the ground floor, we see additional uh, trench work for the uh, uh, utilities, the electrical conduit and plumbing being installed as well. So a good overview, hopefully, for the battery cathode plant today. So now we end the video with a high altitude tour back towards the west. This gives you an idea of the yard with the growing number of trailers for production supplies. We see the east parking lot area and how that is being reconfigured and probably we'll see model wise for transports on that area as well and then overall how the north landscaping looks i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you enjoyed the narration and the discussion and i hope that you have a great day make sure you check out the shareholders meeting tomorrow